New Zealand's major white varieties obviously start with um, our love affair with Sauvignon Blanc. Others are more classical varieties, uh, Chardonnay, Riesling, Gewürztraminer and of course Pinot Gris which is a perfect lunchtime wine. Yeah, when you're talking Sauvignon Blanc you're talking bright greens, vibrancy, uh, blue sky, green grass, New Zealand. I think the great thing about New Zealand Chardonnay that you'll see on the shelf is oak is not the dominant feature, it's all about the fruit profile. Gris as a comparison to Sauvignon Blanc it doesn't have the acid profile, so it's a more of a softer, uh, richer wine on the palate. Riesling, it can transcend any character. It can be sweet, it can be medium, it can be dry, and I think that's half the problem. So I think for the New Zealand consumer, just get out there and take a bottle off the shelf and try it. Gewürz Tremina, uh, the one that we can't pronounce. I still can't spell it half the time. That is a bit like uh, Pinot Gris, except just has a bit more intensity. In the North Island, you're looking at um, Bordeaux-based varieties, so they're like Cabernet, uh, more predominantly Merlot for us. I think for the rest of the country, or, the, or if you took New Zealand as a whole, it would be Pinot Noir. So there's about five fantastic regions that are really akin to Pinot. All have their own different unique styles, but are all very good value for money.